It's another Yakin' With You Jagoff, and we are at the legendary WDVE Studios. And who else will we be talking to here other than a radio legend from Pittsburgh? As I said, here we are at the DVE Studios with radio legend Sean McDowell. How are you, man? John, great. See you again. Legend is like a little too heavy duty <laughs> word for me. No, I mean, how many people have listened to you for so many years? Now you're not a uh, you're not a rookie at this because you were actually on the uh, Jagoff podcast. Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. We came out to see you guys in Moon Township on yes. a Saturday morning. <laughs> was I really hungover? No, no. I... You were just starting to recoup. You had <laughs> you had a nice sized beer there at nine thirty in the morning. I did. <laughs> yes, <you> did. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I, I really do think you're a legend. Who doesn't know that voice? And when we had you on the podcast and posted pictures, this is why we wanted to have you on the video. Because people are like, oh my God, we never knew what he looked like, you know? <laughs> in these days in radio, that's so different because with social media, everybody knows what the radio people look like, right? Uh, well, uh, I'm 61 years old. Uh, so, and this is what I look like at 61. I mean, I, uh, and that's, this is probably one of the biggest reasons why I am on radio, not on TV. So, uh, I still have some hair. Uh, I never colored my beard. I've never had any sort of like cosmetic work done. This is what I yeah. look like. So, uh, and all my friends at Giant Eagle are, are like, uh, Sean, you know, <laughs> when I go in there, you know, uh, which is almost every night, or when I go out to buy a case of icy light. Which is almost every night. Is as that well. the beer of choice? Is that the Sean McDowell beer of choice? It is. Uh, so, radio has changed since you started. That's for sure. The equipment that we have in here, the this social is, uh, media side. Yeah, I mean, this is the new uh, morning show uh, studio here, and I know Hannah is filming us. Uh, your daughter. This is where Randy Bauman and the DVE Morning Show are. Michelle is like right behind Hannah right now. Now we have brand new facilities. Uh, they're very nice. Randy Bauman, the DVE Morning Show, has already spilled coffee on this brand new gazillion dollar board. <laughs> Breaking news here. There the you go. The engineers had to replace like three or four different faders. Uh, Randy can get away with that, not me or Michelle. If we were to spill coffee on that news board over there <laughs> in our studio, uh, who knows what would have happened. But uh, social media is so much a part of this industry anymore. And social media, as you know, because you, you jag off, I send you pictures of people yeah, you do. parking like jag offs all the time. And you have your own website and uh, social media is so much a part of our industry now. And who would have seen that yeah. five years ago? Yeah. Where now, I mean, Facebook, Twitter, uh, our blogs, who would have thought that uh, that was really a part of yeah. radio five years ago, but now it is a part of this industry. Now, so I'm going to tease this, that if you don't know the story about Sean being locked in the bathroom at the 90s, FM, FM 97, yeah, yeah, 97 in Braddock. You, go, you have to go listen to the podcast. So that's one story you have to do your homework on. Well, uh, if you never saw uh, the one podcast that John was talking about in uh, 1981, uh, it was uh, Don McLean's American Pie. It's an eight minute long song and I thought I had time to go to the men's room. This is a Saturday morning in Braddock when I worked at FM 97. I went to the men's room and I locked myself in and I, uh, the door opened from the inside. So I couldn't, I couldn't get back out. And I was in the men's room for like an hour and a half on dead air because American Pie ran out. And, uh, you know, people were calling, like, what happened? And uh, so finally somebody came in and actually uh, they had to, like, kick the door in to get me out the men's room. And I was 26 years old, 27 years old, and I thought, this is the end of my career. I, um, I'll be fired now. I was off the air for an hour and a half, got locked in the men's room. Um, yeah, I mean, so... Who would have thunk it? And you're still here. Yeah. So, well, somehow I managed to, <laughs> like, yes. Uh, rebound. 